Welcome to our MPU 9250 tutorial part 3. Um, last time we did uh, do some readouts and uh, calibration of the sensor itself. But the most important part for us, of course, is the calculation of the angles, so pitch and roll. There are easy and more complicated ways. Today we start with the easiest way. Let's go! Well, before we do the mathematics, let's improve our dashboard. Last time we used the injection node to create a reset and now I created a icon or a button on the dashboard. There's a library available you, um, that's quite nice to use icons for buttons and for other elements. You just need to find the keyword. There's a link in Node-RED to find these keywords. You can choose your own ones or can take mine. Um, I will use this now for some of our buttons and uh, other dashboard elements. So we create another button for the reset and for the calibration. So we have now two buttons on our dashboard. All right, um, now let's do some text boxes for our raw value so that we can see them on the dashboard, which is easier for debugging. You can copy the path directly from um, the debug block, give it a name and put it to the dashboard. Okay, it's in the wrong group. We want to have it together with our buttons. And now we also need to trigger uh, the readout and we see the value and it's quite long maybe it's too long um, so let's shorten this a little bit by um, reducing this to how many digits do we want to take let's let's go for four digits after the point okay that looks good and now we should uh, do this for all axes so let's take a look here Okay, working. And now it's too static, of course, when we do calibration, we can't see anything because we need to trigger again. And it makes sense now to have an interval here. So we do an interval of, uh, let's take one second. Uh, we can reduce this later to see the values. And now we can play with this and see reset and calibration is working with the buttons. Okay, um, you need to decide where you uh, want to do the further calculations. I decided to take a JavaScript node now, so the real node, red node, and not to continue in Python. At this point, it does make sense. I did both, but I think Java is better integrated. What I will do now is something what we discussed in the first chapter, so where I did uh, draw the um, rec rectangular triangles and we talked about uh, the calculations. The only difference is I take the Arcus tangent 2 and that's because we need to cover 360 degrees, not only 90 degrees. So we have uh, four squares of our complete area and we need to do some uh, conversion from radians to degree. So that's simply multiplying with 180 and divide it by P. Okay, now let's hand back this uh, calculated degree information in an object in Java. Um, when you press the calibration button, you should see that the degrees are going to zero, almost zero, so the accuracy is maybe about one degree. So what I did afterwards is to create also some dashboard elements to see our pitch and roll values. And then I also wanted to see some historic information, just a few seconds. But for that, it's easier to reduce your object to just one simple number, um, because then you can use the elements for historic values. So that's how I did set the gauge, um, just one digit minus 180 to plus 180 degrees take the colors off and the same for um, our historic angle information uh, for our first test i will set uh, one 
um, output to zero and that's pitch so that we just have roll now. We see roll is minus 10 degrees so do a calibration it's zero and when we tilt the system by 90 degrees we see minus 88.8. All right let's do the other direction so there's a cable not so easy to get the 90 but you see it's it's working. However when we now do a pitch let's see what happens on our roll axis and you see we get a really impressive reading um, and the reason is that we do no compensation of our two axes and when we take a look at a, a rectangular um, triangle you will remember your time at school how to calculate the hypotenuse so that's not uh, difficult and we need to do this because we have two different vectors in this case and we just did consider one. It's working as long as you just have a rotation around one axis but as soon as you do a rotation around a second axis it's not working anymore. So I ease a little bit our reading by uh, using um, x, y and z as variables and now it looks a little bit more lean and now we can put the square root um, on our calculation and uh, yeah just take a look how I do this here we can use the Java functions math point square root same of course for the other axis when you now rotate our system you will see when you rotate for example around the pitch or do a pitch that our roll is much more stable and it's not fluctuating anymore. So we now consider that the axis which we usually didn't consider at all is influenced and that the other axis is reduced and we now do the calculation of the compensated vector and this helps a lot. It helps but we don't get a very accurate system and there's another improvement which we can do based on this method and there you just should uh, take a look at the NXP application node. They do a matrix calculation and come to the same um, equations we used but they do another step. They assume that we reduce one of both axes to minus 90 to 90 and the other to minus 180 to 180 resulting in an improved uh, equation. And let's take over this equation. So what you need to do is to get back the sign for the second equation because we lose it uh, when we use the square root. Um, on the first equation we have to consider the minus for the x and then there's a little factor. So this is a mu factor which is a correction factor and you should add this as well. So you see here the final equation and you can see in the application note what uh, uh, influences this mu factor has and how it improves the readings. And with that you get between minus 90 and 90 for one axis and minus 180 plus 180 for the other axis good results. Not perfect, there are even better solutions but good results. Okay, that's it for now. Um, subscribe if you want uh, to get informed and bye bye.